Okay, so just a few minutes ago, we told you about authorities investigating a meth lab on Victoria Avenue in Fairborn after a report of a fire this morning. In fact, it seems all too often we are telling you about meth labs just like this one. So that got us thinking, why should you care if a meth lab is in your neighborhood? So we called experts to get you some answers. Marsha Bonhart digging deeper for you tonight. Well, think about it. Unless you are the first to occupy your home or apartment, could have been a meth lab, and you could be breathing the residual chemicals even if it's been cleaned. We see them quite a bit. Busts at houses or apartments that were meth laboratories. You can buy everything that you need at Walmart. Brooke Ehlers is a chemist with the Miami Valley Regional Crime Lab in Dayton. She says meth labs are easy to set up using common household products. Camp fuel, um, acetone paint thinner, liquid plumber, red level dye. Easy to set up, tough to clean up. The products, when combined, are addictive and have staying power. Household cleaning agents just don't do the job. These chemicals have a tendency to become embedded in things like carpet, drywall, um, and they're at levels to where they can't be detected by the average person. Chemists and police are fully protected when they make the bus, yet even they are still at risk. Companies that specifically target meth cleanup will charge between fifteen and $20,000 or you can just wait it out. You know, depending on what the cooking, what the cooking was and how active it was, um, you know, it would just depend over time how that would affect the, uh, the end result. But know that while you are living someplace and you start having symptoms of increased heart rate or respiratory problems, you might trace the symptoms to meth exposure. You can, however, check the DEA website, look up your state and county, and then check the address of a potential house or apartment, anything you may be interested in occupying. If it had been a meth lab at any time, it would be listed on the site. That is, if it had been busted by police. We've put a link there to, at WDTN.com. Marsha Bonhart, 2 News, working for you.